We are all trying to preserve the rich diversity of European countries. Because if that diversity is suppressed, we shall weaken Europe, not strengthen it. The founders of the European community wanted to draw strength from that diversity. They fully recognized the scale of the task, but their aims were much more ambitious than just a materialistic vision. A European war was to be made not just unlikely, but unthinkable. We have to strengthen the ability of Europeans to act on a European basis where the nature of a problem requires a European response. War has not been banished from the European continent. I think particularly of the war-torn republics of what used to be Yugoslavia. The healing process symbolized by Strasbourg remains badly needed elsewhere. We have witnessed the triumph of democracy and the demise of dictatorship in Central Europe. With the collapse of the Berlin Wall, the Iron Curtain has fallen. Our task now is to tend and nurture the green shoots of a democratic spring. The community is especially well suited to this task. The new members are knocking at the door. We should be confident of opening it to them. We must ensure that the friendship and mutual respect which we have built among ourselves should extend more widely throughout our continent and enrich our relations with the wider world. It is a worthy ambition, true to the conviction and example of the founding fathers of the community.